We're going to see. I mean, the boys reckon anything's better than being stuck in this place. Tonight, Gideon's coming with us. Zayas, see you around. No, if I see you first. We have a thief in our midst. Tomorrow is mine and Gid's borrowed birthday. I have to see him. Oh, it rather looks like we found our thief. Matthias? see Matthias since the night he returned, which made everyone nervous, hardly surprising when Matron was concerned. Where's Matthias? Has to be the tent. Boys, as soon as you're finished, straight back to your classrooms and start packing for the delivery. What had she done with Matthias? And more importantly, what did she have planned? Terrible thing, Matthias. Running away from the hospital. Am I going to be punished? Well, that all depends, doesn't it? On what matron? You understand, don't you, why we have such strict rules, Matthias? The outside world is cruel. Until you are prepared for it, it is my duty to protect you from it. The rules are there to keep you safe. Perhaps your lesson's already been learned after all you came back, all by yourself. Hmm. I will not punish you, so long as you do not give me cause again. I won't, Matron. You are well liked, aren't you? You have a lot of friends. Hmm? Well, from now on, if you so much as sense any mischief from any one of them, I want you to tell me. Rather than punish you, I am trusting you to maintain order, Matthias. To be a better influence. I would hate to have to change my mind. Go ahead. Yes? Matron, Mr. Cooper will be here within the hour. Thank you. Take Matthias to his classroom, please. His classroom? Yes. Keep a close watch on him for me. Make sure he's all right. He's got the boys. They'll be looking out for him. You won't get near him. Matron's all over him like the pox. You think she's punishing him? Obviously. He ran away. But he looks awful. He's probably already in the tent. What would you know? 
More than you, I caught him. You snitched on him. He was stealing. And you're just sucking up to Matron. You're jealous because Matron trusts me and not you. No, she doesn't. You just follow her around like a toady poo fly. <laughs> Sheila, take the crate and leave it by the storeroom. That's not fair. Hattie called me... Now! Matthias, take this crate and come with me. I need another volunteer for Mr. Cooper's delivery. Anyone? Mr. Cooper came to the hospital every month. He'd take all the stuff from our lessons and deliver it to whichever charity the governor's picked. But this visit was different. Matron and Cooper had joined forces and were plotting to suppress their greed. We would build toys for them to sell onto a department store. What are you doing here? Nurse Macclesford asked me to bring our crate down here, sir. Mm. The store's usual supplier is sick. We're doing them a favour, we get extra. If it goes well, we could become the new supplier. We play our cards, right? Oh. Just a few late additions. Ah, reliable old cramble. Boys, take those up to the yard. Come on. Business booming, Cooper. Bursting my eardrums. I'll get them started. Gertrude. Mm. Uh, Cramble, take her back to a classroom. Yes, matron. But matron, can I stay and help? No. Oh, don't put them in yet. Just leave them there. Your lot just have to build the toys. I'll handle the sale. Mr. Cooper, do um do I still get my two thirds of the money? The department store's offering us twenty pounds for the lot. Plenty of pennies to go around. I assure you. Are you alright? If you ever want to talk about I don't. One, we're worried. We just want to know what happened. No, you don't. Boys. When you finish that, unload the materials from Mr. Cooper's cart. Yes? Yes, Matron. Your governors haven't got a clue what kind of opportunities they're missing out on. Giving all this to charity. You've got yourself quite a little work for soon. Indeed. I'll keep my end of the bargain, you keep yours. What are you doing? Say you drop me. What? You got feet for ants, boy. Pick them up! Matron and Cooper signed something. So I went to take a look. They're not giving the toys to charity. They're selling them and using us for labour. So what? So what? Matron's making us work for money. That's illegal. We can't let her get away with it. Yeah, we can. What's wrong? What's Matron said? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Just stop sticking your nose in. Whatever Matthias said, what Matron was doing was wrong, and she wasn't going to stop. Not unless we did something to stop her. Matron told us the governors were concerned by our lack of discipline after the escape. So concerned that they set us a task to build a hundred toys for a charity by tomorrow afternoon. Matron said the hospital relied on the governors to survive. If we let them down, it was the tench. Oh, I'm dying. 
No, you're not. Gideon called a meeting that night. I suspected something was up. She's using us as slaves. So what are we going to do? We have to do something. We've got to stop the sale somehow, so Matron and the Cooper can't do it again. How? <coughs> it's just sabotage of toys. Sabotage? Are you nuts? If they don't work, Matron can't sell them. Macclesfield checks everything <coughs> before it leaves the classroom. So does Cranbourne. But everything's taken to the storeroom after, right? So we'll do it in there, start off break before Cooper gets back. Are we going to get in? Still working on that. What's to stop Matron punishing us when she sees the toys are broken? We can't let Matron scare us. Well, she does. <coughs> you know what she's capable of. <coughs> so, we had a plan to sabotage the toys. All we had to do was work out how to get into the toy storeroom before Cooper came back. But then things changed. Water! 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 children back to work. I think the paint might be making the foundling sick. Then perhaps we should postpone the work and inform the government. What evidence do you have to uphold this ridiculous claim? If they can walk, they can work. So it isn't a bug then. We've got to stick to the plan. Well, everyone's going to get sick. Gertrude, please. It is matron. I know you're trying to mend things between yourself and the governors, but they'll only come down harder if the children fall ill. They want discipline, not disease. This is not about the children. The governors are testing us. If we do not do as they ask, our positions may be forfeit. I'm also to report any failings in my staff that may be the cause of the children's ill discipline. Will that be necessary? No, Matron. Take Monica to the infirmary. Yes, of course. When we finished, sit down. I heard that Winterson told Macclesfield that it was the paint. Is water going to be all right? So long as he's not painting Jack in the boxes. Right. Let's stick to the plan. All right. But well, what about the boys? There's no time to tell them. How do we get into the storeroom? I'll make some kind of lockpick. Worst comes to worst, we don't get in, but we've got to try. Sheila, am I your best friend? What do you want? You'll never guess what Hattie's up to. Ned, Gideon. Matthias, run these remaining boxes down to the storeroom, please. Take Ned and Gideon with you. When you're done, make sure you return the key to Matron. Yes, sir. You are right. We'll keep our notes down. I taught you that one, you idiot. I just what want are you playing at? We're going to sneak into the storage room. We're going to sabotage the toys. 
What? I told you we weren't just going to sit around. And I told you to leave me out of it. Cranbourne trusted me after everything that... And you were only going to get me into trouble. No, we weren't. That's why we weren't going to tell you. I had the keys. I'd get the blame for whatever happened. Only if we get caught. Don't you trust us anymore? Please, Matthias. We only need it for 15 minutes. No one will know. I understand. I can't. Yes? Matthias. I was hoping to see you. Keys, matron. Sit down. Someone told me that Ned and Gideon were out of bed last night for approximately half an hour. Now, allegedly, they were escorting Walter to the infirmary. But Nurse Winderson tells me that they were only with her for one or two minutes. So you can understand my confusion. Remember what we said about hiding misbehaviour from me, Matthias? Mr. Grace's will not seem so terrible. I will be lenient, so long as you continue to do the right thing. Matron, they... Not now! Matron, I'm sorry, Matron. Hetty and her friends are breaking into the store and they want to sabotage the toy. Don't be ridiculous. There are boys with them. You knew about this? No. No one's in the store room. I was just there. I gave you the keys. If I find you lying, you and your friends will pay the price. Matron, wait. I should never run away. Matthias, get sorry. Off. It's all right, enough. Oh, I'd never lie to you, Matron. I've learnt my lesson, I swear. Please don't punish me, please. Go to your door, Matthias. Go on. I need your keys to the storeroom. What? The children's broken in. What? Just give them to me! We're done for.
Quiet. You will regret spreading lies about Feather. But, Matron, I swear she's... Yes. Thanks. It wasn't anything. Well, she's something good. Mr. Cooper. The store's usual toy maker is out for the count. The damn paint, apparently. Repeat business for us. You load that cart. Sorry, matron. Well, there's always one, isn't there? <laughs> And it was Hetty. What? What good are these? They're all broken. The children. They're trying to undermine me. They're trying to sabotage me. Why would they do such a thing? It was him. His materials were faulty, paint and all. Probably bought the whole lot off some beggar. You're going to let him talk to me like that? Go! Before I report you to the police, charlatan. Isn't that right, matron? Guess this is goodbye then, Gertrude. It's matron. Get out now. They will be punished. They will all be punished. I shall speak to the governors. I shall explain that you did your best, but they allowed this unsavoury man to exploit our hospital. This was down to them, not you. Certainly not the children. No, 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 no. I'll speak with them. Very well. But they will not want the children punished, Matron. Not if they hear what Cooper did to them. That's it. Straight out the top of the stairs. You impressed then? Sorry I didn't help sooner. It wasn't I didn't trust you. The matron said if I caused trouble or if I didn't rat on my friends, I'd be punished. You should have told us. What made you change your mind? Sheila dubbed you into Matron for breaking into the storeroom. I only know because I'd gone to do the same. Then I realised I'd rather be in the tent with you lot than be like Sheila. Grace was going to sell us abroad. I tried to get us out, but Jack and Arthur got caught. I thought there was nothing I could do, so I left them. Now I can't help thinking, what if there was something I could? But it was just that. It wasn't your fault. People always tell us to do what grown-ups say, because they know best, but they don't. We've got to trust our guts. I'm not sure I trust my gut anymore. Well, I do. You're the bravest person I know. I'm glad.
about your back with eyes. So am I. People don't just spring back together like Jack in the Boxes. Sometimes, people get broken. People don't stay broken forever. However long it takes, no matter what, they'll always bounce back. Our plan might not have gone to, well, plan, but with Matthias back, we felt unstoppable. So long as we had each other and the tower, there was no game Matrix could play that we could win. Eliza? How do you know my name? She's dying, Gertie. That concerns me, Ham. Huh? When you grow up, I'll be waiting for you. You promise? You're my borrowed sister. I'll never forget you. Keith, get out of here. It's far too dangerous. Why didn't you come to the tower last night? Matron, please, you can't. I'll do anything. Matron, please! It's too late. Hello, Hetty. 